Hey guys, it's Misty. Um, Aramie has uh, done another video where he asked a bunch of questions and I figured I would respond with another video. Um, I have to be kind of quiet because my kids and my husband are sleeping because it's like midnight and, you know, I'm still awake. And his first question was, what keeps me confident? And I guess the thing that keeps me most confident is the fact that while I was pregnant, I ended up gaining about 50 pounds. And, um, you know, I'm only 5'2", so 50 pounds looks like a lot on me. So being able to lose most of that weight after having my kids is a huge confidence boost and you know and it just I look at pictures of what I look like right after having kids to what I am now and I feel so fantastic and it motivates me to work harder on getting to where I need to be because I'm not quite there yet but I'm working on it um what kinds of stuff do we like? Uh, what things do we not? Do you guys not know about us? I would say my music uh, preferences is pretty generic, I guess, um, because I like a whole bunch of everything, <laughs> and which everybody thinks is a cop out, but it's not. It's really honest like I have um, several different stations on Pandora I have an Evanescence station I have a Miley Cyrus station Celtic Woman station uh, Breaking Benjamin station Christmas music station I don't know why I just like Christmas music even when it's not Christmas um I have an Eiffel 65 station. If you know what that, who that is, you are awesome. Uh, I even have an in sync station. Yeah, I still listen to that stuff. When uh, when I saw this is the end, I kind of jumped for joy because of a certain boy band that was in it. I'm not going to spoil it for people because people get mad when I do that. And I don't need to, so. Anyway, um, movies. I love Serenity, which is the conclusion for the series Firefly. If you haven't seen either, you need to watch Firefly, the whole series, which is only, thir I believe, 13 episodes. Yes, 13 episodes. And then Serenity is the conclusion of it. So definitely watch those. Those are fantastic. Especially if you like sci-fi. Um, I, I really dig uh, Armageddon. It's one of my go-to movies when I need to cry. Same with Deep, Deep Impact uh, with Elijah Wood and Lily Sobieski. I think that's how I mean, so. Um, Fifth Element is a really great movie. I love most of Bruce Willis's movies. Huh. I'm tired, which is odd. But anyway, um, yes, I like all the Die Hard movies. I think I just said that. But um, I ended up making Lulu's costume from Fifth Element for a convention that we never was able to go to because a friend backed out last minute. Anyway, um, so the Zombie Land is a good movie. It's a great funny movie to watch. Um, and it just happens to have zombies in it, so if you like zombies, check it out. Um, let's see. TV shows, other than the ones I've already said, which is Supernatural and Firefly. Um, I really dig SG-1, uh, Stargate SG-1. Um, 
I don't think any of the other series that spawned from it were as good as the original because the relationship between the cast of the original series was just phenomenal. You can't, it's like, it's rare to get that much chemistry to where it ended up lasting 10 years and you know, it's just fantastic. It's like, you know, it's like friends. The people in that show are still really great friends. Punny. <laughs> um, but it's just like to have that right chemistry. Um, another show that has chemistry like that is NCIS, which really makes for a really great series. Um, I like the original NCIS. I think the whole um, old school type police work that goes into it as opposed to relying just on technology, which NCIS Los Angeles basically kind of focuses around. I've only seen a few episodes of NCIS Los Angeles and I just couldn't get into it, so sorry if I kind of bummed you out on that one, but I can't get into it. Anyways, moving along. Um, yeah, those are pretty much the stuff that I like to do other than the standard getting out and doing anything that's active outside. I'd love to go rock climbing. That's one thing that I haven't done since before I was pregnant or before I had kids. I think they said because it's a great workout. I need to do that soon. Anyway, um, he also wanted to, Aramis asked, also wanted to know if there was any advice that we can give to any Marines out there that need a little bit help talking to women. I really don't know what to tell you other than what works for me, I guess. Um, I love cheesy lines. Like if you commit to the cheesy line and you know the fact that it's cheesy, it can make it so much more funny, which being funny right off the bat is a great thing. Um, I like odd compliments. Like I had somebody compliment the way that when I laugh I kind of crinkle my nose a little bit and uh, they complimented me on it and that compliment stuck out in my head. And so it's like one of something that's kind of off the wall that can really stick out to a person is a great thing to work on or to like focus on so definitely try doing something like that but be sincere don't just do it just to stand out you know if you actually think it's cute or uh actually dig it then you know definitely say it um unless they ask what you do don't boast the fact that you are a marine even though being a marine is awesome being in the military is awesome say like bringing the fact that you are military like into the light really early in the conversation can immediately pique interest of tag chasers which i have come to find out you know in, or talking to people that my husband works with happens a lot um, just steer away from talking about stuff like that unless, you know, they directly ask you, what do you do for a living? And, uh, of course, if you're infantry, I mean, it's really hard to, like, not bring in military, but, like, uh, if someone asks my husband what he did, he's airframe mechanic, he, he's hydro mech, so he just says that, but he also is uh, the, the shop's welder, and he's the only, or he's one of the few painters in there, so, um, yeah, there's that. Uh, you just, you want to be on guard because there are so many shady people, um, of course only if you're looking for a one night stand and, you know, do whatever it is that gets you in the sack, you know, <laughs> go for it. Um, but it's, you know, I like, I like odd characteristics, 
so being funny, being kind of awkwardly confident, but not in like a super cocky way is a great thing. Um, like, key example is my husband. When I first met him, he said maybe a total of two sentences to me in the first like few hours of like us being around each other. He didn't say much, but he was absolutely adorable, which is a great thing to be called. If girl calls you cute or adorable, it's a good thing. Don't get in such a freaking huff about being called cute or adorable. Girls use those terms. Part of being a girl, so accept it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much all the advice I can give you when it comes to dating, because I haven't dated much, so I can't give you much info. Um, the last question that he, that Aramie asked was, what can the fans do? Um, basically, us girls like to know that, you know, we're appreciated, which, you know, is good for everybody. Um, so comments and likes are obviously, you know, great. Uh, I love getting messages. You know, it's it's nice to know that you uh, appreciate what um, the fact that I'm sending in pictures for you guys, and especially if I do one for undo a picture for your unit or your uh, squad, platoon, whatever you end up asking me to do. Um, you know, it's it's nice to know you guys appreciate it. So, don't be afraid to message me. I love getting messages. Um, I personally don't like when people share my pictures. It's, it's not that um, I think someone's stealing it. It's because I don't want... It sounds kind of odd, given the fact that I send in pictures for a page that has a ton of people following it. But um, I don't want anybody to think I'm out there to be internet famous. That's not the reason I started sending pictures for k dp So I would appreciate it if none of you shared my pictures. I'm sorry if that makes me bitchy, but it's what I prefer. Um, other girls uh, might want their pictures shared. Just ask them before you do it because, you know, it could come across weird and I don't want to cause any err feelings um but yeah that's about it i just make these long freaking videos what the heck <laughs> anyway yeah so that about does it for this video so i will bid you adieu and ciao or dasvidanya uh avidazen uh, adios, and see ya. <laughs> oh, man.